Hello? Who is it? Ah! Get off my lawn. Welcome back, everybody. This is Will Will Gaming, and this is part two of my hostile mob system. That's right. Now, if you haven't seen part one, don't worry. Go back and watch it. I highly recommend it so you guys can be up to date uh, and know what I'm going to be doing in this video. You go partnering it up. But, like always, if you like the video, like, comment, tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I can improve on, and or if you just simply enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel if you guys want some more Minecraft. Alright. Um, so, today, we're going to finish out my mob system. But, just so you guys know, you're going to have to dig, uh, take down all your ladders from last time. And what I do, since, you know, you have no way of getting in and out, you count over, you know, 14, well, it's 15 wide. So, you've count over 16 blocks and make yourself a new entryway. So, let's get things started. Woo! need for this video we're going to need a ton of signs this might be overkill but I just made enough just so I didn't have to run back and get any more and you're gonna need a ton of Sally you okay <laughs> you're gonna need a, a, a decent amount of glass I use glass but you can use any block and I'll show you that a little later and also a couple buckets um, if you have more than two, that's that's perfect because then you can, you know, make this process a lot faster. So, let's get into it. First things first, we're going to lay down our glass. And what I like to do, I just put it on the edges like that. Like that. And you can bring it over here. Huh, uh, there you go. And let's get up on this. Now you guys don't have to use glass, but I use glass because I like seeing the mobs go up. Also, if, if there is a clutter that happens, I can easily see it and see what I need to do to fix it. Okay, since you got that. We're going to work on our signs here. First things first, you want to put a sign here and a sign there. On the opposite corner, do the same thing. And also, now that you got these here, you want to put a sign on the... Uh, hold on. Okay, you put a sign here, just like that up on top and then you put a sign back here like this directly back behind the ones on the back here like that you cut this out <laughs> put a W cut that out just like that and then what you want to do you see how I can highlight the sign here. What you want to do is, um, which way am I facing? Okay. What you want to do, you want to place the sign like this. Oh, that. Nope. Like that. You have to shift like you're crouching and click it. See how that is? And you want to do the same for the top here. And you want to make it, um, like a checker pattern like that and so for instance for this side you want to do it like this and up on the top like that alright and that should equal out to 16 so what this will do this will hold in the water source here you see 
And this will allow, when the mobs get pushed here, you know, they're jumping, so they're getting pushed all the way here. And this will allow them to swim up. See? Nice. Now what we have to do... Uh, let me get some stuff out of my inventory. Get my buckets here. We have to fill these up. And you have to crisscross it, just like the checker pattern. So, a sign there, a sign there. Oh, a little lag. So, a sign oh, here, and a sign there. And you have to do it all the way up. Um, so, you have, a, you have a water source here, you're going to have a water source there and there just like this see see how that is and it kind of makes like a checker pattern of water that's what you want to do <clears throat> we are going to like leave some spots full water block not just like these little that's broken up because that will allow them to swim up and give it a little bit more natural flow and I'll show you guys but that's the step and I'm gonna keep repeating this process until I reach the top and I'll speed things up or I might just show you guys you know sometimes oops, sometimes you mess up like that and you can't do anything without a <laughs> an axe. Come on, come on. Uh, I gotta get the right, there we go. Had to get the right angle. So, another like that. And for this side, that way. And we just fill in the holes here. Very simple. Now when you do the full blocks of water, you're going to have to put water on all four sides. You can't just put it on two sides and, and go up. You have to put it on all four sides so it doesn't have this flow because if it has a flow water there, it will not allow them to go up. They will be pushed to the wall and they'll get stuck. So, oh, see, you can also just put it in two corners and it'll make it even like that. So I think the max limit for, for which mobs can swim without having any air pockets is 13 blocks. So right now we have about four. One, two, three, about three. So we can we can definitely increase this a lot more. Yes.
Okay, everybody, once we have made our water path here, what we're going to want to do is, I'm just being really anal about my, how everything looks, so don't mind me. This is all for just the sake of having everything neat, and I'm doing the glass because I like the, to look, to see the mobs. Like I said, oh man, it's getting dark out. All right, so we want to bring this up to, oh, see? That's why I get another stack, because I mess up like that. Ah, and like that. All right, just bring this up too high here. Ooh, wow. I have used a stack of glass. Nice. Give you guys some perspective. All right, I'm going to need to sleep. I'll be right back. I thought I was going to sleep. Peekaboo. Hey -ya! Ah, don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Hey. Woo. Oh my god. I need to get over. These zombies. Get. Give me this. I need my bed. Oh no. Please don't die. Nice. One, two, three. Get out of here. I need to light this up better. I knew it wasn't lit up. Uh, there we go. Take that. And let's sleep. Whew. That was close. Okay, I'm back. Also, if I haven't said, you're going to need at least one bucket of lava, and you're still going to need your signs for this, and any decoration that you guys want to use for the design of it. Okay, so, go get back to my glass here. Bring this up too, like so. And here and there so and we're going to actually bring this up one actually two more I believe two more like this okay, so what you want to do you want to put a sign here and a sign there and on this side, you want to put a sign. Oh, not the. You want to put a sign here and there. See? Just like that. Now we're going to need our little source block of water. There we go. Um, get back up here. We gotta fill this up. Like so. Like that. And one more. Hey, ah. Hey ah, okay. And then we're gonna have to put it on the back side this time, and it will stop right here. Now we'll fix that. Don't worry. That's just the updating the water source, which we will do. This is a pretty high build, huh? So what we want to do? We want to grab another water bucket. And we need to update our water stream. And we just do that. That's all you have to do. You see? These hold that back. Now we're going to have to put signs above that stream. Just like that. And that's what's going to hold our lava source. So we're going to put a bucket at the very bottom. 
And what that will do, that will allow for when the mobs drop their loot, they will, um, the, the loot will follow the path of water and come out here. Now, what you're going to need is a pressure plate. Now, you can use iron, you can use anything you want, but I'm just going to use oh, some stone. Here we go. Just like so. And like that. So, that'll stop the water stream, but it'll uh, bring the items to you, which you can just pick up right there. Okay. Now that we have that finished we need to put in our lava our lava will go right here just like that all you need is one and those signs they won't burn and they'll hold up this lava just like that nice and what we need to do we need to fill this back in like that and Put a top on it. So, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use. For the meantime, I'll use stone. Actually, I, I really want to use this. This granite, uh, granite. My bad. It's not granite. <gasps> no. It wasn't that much. So, put it directly above the lava. Just like that. Nice, huh? And that's what it'll look like after you have completed it. Once we have this completed, we will have to go down below and take out all of the torches and start our water stream. So let's head down here and hope and pray that there isn't any mobs about to blow up in our faces. Ugh. Okay, good, good. Okay. Wow, I hear so many mobs behind me. Anyways, and I'm going to need to fill that up because if I don't, then they're going to spawn over here rather than in our area that I want. So what we have to do we have to break these blocks and see if how everything works all the way around just like so and for these we have watch I'll show you wow that's so loud anyways for these we will do that water source block I showed you at the end of the last video. Put it down, pick it up, and it'll flow perfectly. Um, just like that. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Once we have all the corners fixed, um, like so, here. I gotta do this corner. Now we're gonna need to... get our buckets again. So, I have the water source block here still. So I'm gonna go in here. Oh, pick up some more. Like that. And what we need to do, we need to put our water source blocks at the top of the stairs. Ready? Just like this. And for both sides. So it has that continuous flow in inside the uh, center there. I'm actually going to go up here and I'll make that my entryway. Do, do, do. Thank you. So get hectic in the middle, so might as well do this now. 
All right. We're going to do the exact same on the outside here. Just like that. Have an even flow. Alrighty then. Just like that. All the way around and I'll be back when I finish. Alright, once you have picked up all of your inventory from down here, the last and final step you have to do is take out all these torches. So we're going to go around and pick them up. I can drop that down. Drop that down. Let's see. We'll get the back first. I'm going to have to get out of here quick. So if not, they're going to start spawning. Hey, yeah. You know the, um, can I reach that? Yes, I can. Nice. Give me those. Give me that. Give me this. Give me that. That. Oh, also you want to fill this up any water sources that you have out here oh it's so dark it's so dark and boom ah uh, yeah that's okay that's how you want it to look I don't know why that's light maybe because the light shining through through the day I don't know so that's all you have to do and then let's see how it turns out. Is it gonna be yep. Yep, mobs at my door. Now I did not invite anyone over. Who is on my lawn? Get off my lawn. I'll teach him. And as you guys can see, um this system is only made... Whoa, there's a creeper. This system is better made for the 1x2 mobs, like the zombies. Not the spiders. Some they're loot. They usually swim up there and then their loot burns like that. But there's occasions that you can get them. See, I got some string. But, yeah, this thing works. This is perfect for that uh, gunpowder, zombie, rotten flesh. It even kills witches, so. Yeah, it works. Now, once you um, light up more areas around here and underground, they're going to be forced to spawn in the pads that we have down there. And you'll have more loot. Now sometimes witches Ooh, look at that glowstone. Oh, glowstone and sticks. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And until next time, I'll see you when I see ya. Peace out.